concerns over the drugs used in lethal injection resulted in a stay of execution has once again been placed on the FBI's most wanted list. Well, that was a long three months. Thank God it's over. Almost over. You still haven't explained why Anna McMahon wanted to kill you, or why the Corsican tried to kill her. I don't know what the plot against this country is, but I do know she's orchestrating it. The Assistant Attorney General, top Justice Department official, plotting against America. She sent Moreau after me because she thinks I know more than I do. As she could track me through my ankle monitor, I was unusually vulnerable. Fortunately, Moreau turned out to be a man of deep political conviction, a nationalist who killed for that cause and that cause only. McMahon hired him under false pretenses. When I set him straight, he went to settle the score. And got his brains blown out for his troubles. We, uh, we have no leads on his killer. And you won't get any. His killer has friends in high places. Thank you. For what? You say we have no exposure. I'm not sure we do. Which means you're not sure we don't. Until I, I do, I'm overseeing the task force. Everything they know, I'll know. As long as Anna McMahon is sniffing up our skirts, an abundance of caution will not be enough. If we're gonna uncover the true nature of the conspiracy, we'll have to engage in active disinformation. Lie to main justice about what we're doing. Wouldn't it be easier just to arrest her? Based on what? My word against hers? The dossier was proof. Moreau confronted McMahon with it. Now he's dead and it's gone. Or in her possession. Moreau read the dossier. As far as I know, he didn't tell anyone what was in it before he died. But he had the only copy. And now it's missing. You better find out where it is. It'll all be over soon. We have our work cut out for us. We know there are people plotting against our country. And at least three people have been murdered to keep that plot secret. As is all too often the case, we're looking straight down the barrel of what's wrong with the world. But tonight, we're also witness to something pretty great. That the man we hate to love lives to fight another day. Yes, well, thank you, Harold. Call me when you have a lead. I'm wheels up in 45. Where are you going? I have no earthly idea. Anywhere but here. I'd forgotten how much this place reeks of stress and anxiety. Deodorized body odor and old coffee. Is he talking? I'm going to talk to Cooper. Right. Of course, do you want me to come with you? No, I'll do it. Hey, it's, um, it's the right thing to do. I know. Hey, you never answered my question. The reason you didn't ask him who he really is, uh, was it because you didn't get the chance to or because you decided not to? I decided not to. You're just gonna let it go? You're okay with that? I am. And I hope you are, too. Do you have a minute? Of course. What's up? I'm leaving the task force. Sorry to hear that. So am I. May I ask why? No. Is there anything I can do to change your mind? I've loved working here. The case is everyone's dedication, and I met Aram. Then why leave? Because it's time. <laughs>